Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Coffee with Katie. I have my Enemies to Lovers Stoneware mug from Fable Grounds Coffee and I'm still dealing with some like allergy something or another. So today's video is going to be a book haul. I've had several books accumulating for a while and so I just wanted to go ahead and film this because I need to empty my cart, my book haul, whatever cart. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna try to do it really fast because I need to leave in like 30 minutes, so. Chop chop. First thing we will go over is this box set. Amazon had a little bit of a book sale and I only bought a couple of books that were Star Wars related. And I got Star Wars The High Republic. This is a three book box set and this was like $15 or something, which was super great. It has Into the Dark, Out of the Shadows, and Midnight Horizon. I just read Light of the Jedi. And these are, I think, the next installments in the High Republic series. It's kind of hard to keep track because they all kind of say different things, but I believe these would be next, so I went ahead and got these because I love Star Wars books, and I'm happy to have this little box set. It's fun. Next one that I got is The Love Remedy by Elizabeth Everett. I've already talked about this. I'm actually almost finished with this. I'm about, I'm over halfway through listening to this from the library, and I don't think I'm going to finish it this month, hopefully. It's a cute little Victorian romance. Um, when a Victorian apothecary hires a stoic private investigator to protect her business, they learn there's only one way to treat true love with a happily ever after. Essentially, she runs an apothecary, she tries to help people in need, but the business is failing and they're not really sure why because the numbers aren't adding up. It's cute. Next, um, Barnes & Noble was having a sale for their premium members, as in you get a lot more points when you purchase things this weekend, and so I got two things, but the first one is Brandon Sanderson. Mistborn, The Well of Ascension. This is the book two in the original Mistborn trilogy. I read the first one and this one is obviously next. So I grabbed it while I had the chance to get triple points, but I love how floppy these are and I love the new covers. I know some people don't really like them, but I really do. I like the size, I like the flop, I like the covers. So I went ahead and got Well of Ascension. Mistborn is about using allomancy, which means when you ingest certain metals, you can harness certain types of magic. And there's a chosen one and a dark lord. The next one I got is kind of hilarious, but it is Burning Crowns by Catherine Doyle and Catherine Weber. This is book three in the Twins Crown series. I got the first one free in a fairy loot up there, and I wanted to get the second one as well. I missed the chance to get the fancy sprayed edges edition, so I went ahead and got this Waterstones edition because I really liked the edition with the sword. I just think it's really cool, and they have... Um, each of them have two editions, one for each sister, and so I liked this one. I just thought it was really cool, so I grabbed it while I could, and it's a paperback, so it wasn't terribly expensive. Twin Crowns, I honestly don't even remember what it's about, but it's two sisters after one throne, essentially. And then I got A Governess's Guide to Passion and Peril by Amanda Collins. I've already read this. Um, this is the, uh, just another installment in the, like, Ladies Most Scandalous series. Follow A woman who was a she was a noble her father is said to have killed himself and she becomes a governess to stay with these people to pay them back and then maybe falls in love with the duke's brother next is a fairy loot edition sequel and it is destroy the day by bridget kimmerer this is the third book in the defy the night series and i have all the other fairy loot editions so i grabbed this one i do hope to get to this and to finish the other bridget kimmerer series that I have because I have right up here the um, Curse Breaker series and I haven't read the third book yet but I would like to do that and then I would like to read this as well. So that is the third and moving right along we have Throne of Serpents by Frost K. This is actually in my TBR for June and it is the third book in the Dragon Isle War series. I really enjoyed the first one, the second one was okay, and I'm looking forward to finishing this trilogy up to have some closure. <laughs> and the first one is essentially, she is the queen of the Dragon Isle, or she's the princess of the Dragon Isle, but on the eve of her wedding, a elf kingdom comes in and slaughters like everyone in the family and takes her as prisoner and forces her to marry him and nefarious plots and political schemes unfold. And I'm looking forward to seeing how this wraps up. Next, I really, really liked this book when I read it earlier this year, and I wanted to get the UK edition, so I ordered one. It came a little beat up, but that's okay, and that is The Book of Doors by Gareth Brown. I, like I said, I really loved this. It was a really fun story, and I wanted the UK edition because I just like the cover a whole lot more, and so I ordered the UK edition, and here it is. You're following a girl who, she finds a book, and when she's harnessing the book's power, she can open a door, and it can be a door to anywhere, 
and people are after her because this is a very coveted power and it was a really interesting story. And then I ordered this before I read it, but I'm still glad I have a copy of it and I want to continue the series even though I wasn't a huge fan of the first one. And that is Dragon Rider by Taryn Matharu. This is the Broken Binding edition. I love the fire and the dragon details and the red cover. It's just very, very pretty. But you're following a orphan who was turned into a slave <clears throat> for the Empire and then he uncovers a um, coup, a plot for the prince to overthrow the kingdom and he ends up running away with a dragon egg and a handmaiden of a marriage alliance and he ends up bonding with a dragon. If you would like to hear more thoughts on that, I do have a review up on my channel. Next that I've mentioned before is this copy of Manifold by Sen Lin Yu. This is a bound edition that has like all of the text. Obviously it has the whole story and it has art in it as well. So it's really fun. I listened to this and I fell in love with it and it like changed my life kind of and put me in a really hard reading slump. And I really wanted a copy of it and John got me a copy of it, which is super, super sweet. So moving on. That is a Dramine fanfic. And then I randomly picked this up one day and that is How Does It Feel? The Infatuated Fae Book One by Janine O'Reilly. I think I saw somebody talk about this. I had never heard of it. I saw it in Barnes and Noble one day, picked it up. Um, it sounds kind of interesting. It says a forbidden obsession, unyielding family allegiance, three deadly challenges. It sounds like there's um, fae, but also some sort of like parasite in the, there's a lot of like mushrooms and stuff on here that like latches on and there's things going wrong. And the fae, this like horrible fae prince or something challenges her to three deadly trials. And then I have Stuart Turton's most recent book, which is The Last Murder at the End of the World. And I got this signed. Waterstones exclusive edition because it is beautiful and I really enjoyed the seven and a half deaths of Avalon Hardcastle and I'm planning on reading The Devil in the Dark Water in June so I wanted to get his next book because I've really enjoyed his first one so I'm hoping I like all of them and I really like the edges. The colors are very fun and on the back it says solve the murder to save what's left of the world. Outside the island there is nothing the world destroyed by fog that swept the planet killing anyone it touched. On the island it is idyllic 122 villagers and three scientists living in peaceful harmony. The villagers are content to fish, farm, and feast to obey their nightly curfew to do what they're told by the scientists. When one of their beloved scientists is, from, is found brutally stabbed to death, they learn that the murder has triggered a lowering of their security system and the fog is encroaching. And if the murder isn't solved in 107 hours, the fog will smother the island. So, sounds fun. And then I have the fairly edition of The Crimson Moth by Kristen Ciccarelli. Um, this, I've already unboxed this, but here we go. Same for A Fate Inked in Blood by Daniel L. Jensen. This is the Fairy Loot Edition. I've already unboxed it. I also got A Shadow Crown by Melissa Bear Blair. This is the Bookish Box Edition. This is book two in the, um, oh, Halfling, Halfling Saga, I think it is. I think that's what it is. Anyway, I got the second book because I had the first book. It's about a halfling. Yep. I'm sorry, I'm like trying to get through this really quickly. And then I also got um, the Bookish Box editions of the Percy Jackson series because I did really like the first one and I'm planning on finishing it, but I really loved these editions because they're gold and leather and have these like golden pieces on them. And they look like old Greek books. And I think that's really cool and the edges are really pretty, but I just really liked these editions because I like that they look old. So that was The Lightning Thief, and then we have um, The Sea of Monsters, The Last Olympian, these are a little bit out of order, The Battle of the Labyrinth, and The Titan's Curse. That's book three. <laughs> and then we have the Fairy Loot edition of The Atlas Complex by Olive Blake. This is book three in the Atlas 6 series. I haven't finished it yet, but I really need to get to this as when I can. So there's this one. I've already hauled the Illumicrate one, but I have both the Illumicrate and the Fairy Loots. And then a little bit against my better judgment, I got the Goldsboro edition of Empire of the Damned by Jay Kristoff. Um, I never finished, I like barely started and never finished Empire of the Vampire. Um, but just in case I do end up liking it, I have the Illumicrate edition. I couldn't get the Illumicrate edition of the second one. So I'm hoping that I like it. If not, I can pass these along to somebody else who will enjoy them. Then I have the Fairy Loot edition of Tales of the Celestial Kingdom by Su Lin Tan. From what I know of this, this is like, it's in the same series as the 
celestial kingdoms duology and it's just like short stories and it just seems very cute and i love the cover and i love the edges and i had to get it to match and then we have five broken blades by, by my corland um i did start this a little bit this is just the regular edition isn't that so cool I started this and got a little bit into it, but it says the five most dangerous liars in the land have been mysteriously summoned to work together for a single objective, to kill the God King June. And I think it's going to be really good, but like I said, I had to stop reading it because I was in the middle of all my other TBRs. And I did like it, but I've also been in a reading slump, so it's been hard for me to get into things, but I'm looking forward to finishing this at some point. And then I got this, which is the fall. <laughs> This is the Broken Binding Edition, but it's The Fall by Ryan Cahill. This is the, his, oh, his dragon series, and I can't remember the name of the series, Dagnabbit, what is it? The Bound and the Broken, I believe. And it's all about dragons, which is really cool. Like, look at that. Amazing. And this is like a tiny novella in between the first and the second book. And I couldn't, I never got my hands on the first book, so I'm just starting now. But like, look at the end pages even. I'm just, I think the series is going to be really good and I very much look forward to reading it, but I did get this little novella. We have the Fairy Loot edition of A Tempest of Tea by Hafsa Fazale. Um, I got this in a Fairy Loot, so I've already unboxed this, even if it's not up yet. And then we have Disquiet Gods by Christopher Rocchio. This is the sixth book in the Sun Eater series. I have the rest of them up here. So I've been trying to keep up with buying them, even if I'm not keeping up with reading them. How dare they make this cover shiny though when these are matte? How dare they? But it's okay. And it's from Bane Books, where all of these have been from Daw. So that's also part of it. But um, this is the sixth book. I can't really tell you what happens because I don't even know what happened in the second or the third book. So I have this one though for whenever I'm ready for it. Sun Eater is your following Hadrian, who essentially is from a wealthy family. And then throughout his journey, he becomes like a dark lord. So it's a villain origin story, which is super great. And then I have the Broken Binding edition of Slaughtered Gods by Field Cold Holt. This is part three of the Hanged God trilogy, and this is the Broken Binding edition. I've already unboxed this, so moving right along. I also then randomly got this edition of Fathom Folk by Eliza Chan. This is the Illumicrate edition. I just found it secondhand and thought it was so pretty and that the naked hardcover is beautiful. And so I went ahead and grabbed it because I am curious about this book, even though I haven't had a chance to read it. I did start it, and again, like many other things, I just wasn't in the mood, so I, I put it down, but... Um, I didn't get very far into most of the ones that I put down recently, so I do look, I do plan on picking this back up at some point. Before I got that, I got the paperback edition, which I'm going to go ahead and pass along to somebody else because I do not need to keep this. And on that same vein, I ordered this because I was very excited about it and it was one of my most anticipated releases. I'm almost done with it and I don't care for it, so I'm also going to be passing this along. Hauling and unhauling in the same video. <laughs> And I also got Evocation by S.T. Gibson. This is the Fairy Loot Edition I've already unboxed. As well as A Feather So Black by Lyra Celine. Beautiful edition. And Lore of the Wilds by Anna Lee Sabrana. These are all Fairy Loots that I've unboxed. I also grabbed a copy of The Tainted Cup by Robert Jackson Bennett because as in my review that I posted already, I loved this book and the edition is really pretty. I really like the US edition because it's just a hardcover with this plants like growing up. Mm. I, I really liked this book and I look forward to continuing. You're following an inspector. It's like a Sherlock Holmes in a fantasy world where um, a pretty prominent person in society has seemed to have died by a tree spontaneously erupting from his body. And then I got the Fairy Loot Edition in of the Iron, of Iron Flame, the second book in the Empire Empyrean trilogy. Very pretty. This is another book that I've been, this is another series that I've been collecting editions of, which is a little bit of a problem. Apparently I haven't done a book haul in a long time, because we also have Shackled Fates, which is part two of the Hang God trilogy by Field Hold Colt, already unboxed. And then we have the Illumicrate edition of Dark Star Burning Ash Fells White by Emily Winzow. This is a beautiful Illumicrate edition. It's stunning, unmatched, beautiful. Look at it. The naked hardcovers on these are so pretty. It's crazy. And I'm actually very much looking forward to reading this. I plan on reading the first one sometime this year. I think it's in my buzzword book challenge. And then I think I might tack this one on after it just to have a little bit more closure. But I'm looking forward to reading this. I don't remember what the first one's about. I just did an unboxing for this, but it's not up yet. It's a fairly edition of A Curse of Blood and Woods. 
of Wolves by Melissa McTurnan, as well as The Temptation of Magic by Megan Scott. I also just unboxed this, but it's not up yet. And then I got this for myself and John because we're both getting into the High Republic series. And it is the Star Wars, the High Republic character encyclopedia, which I feel like would be very helpful because at the beginning they just throw in so many names and you have no idea what race they are or anything at first. And so this is very helpful to figure that out. I like that Yaddle's in here. That's amazing. Alizar Man. Just like a lot of characters to keep up with. So this is going to be very helpful. And then I got volume six of Laura Olympus because I've almost finished Laura Olympus and I'm actually really sad because it's actually almost over and so I just buy these editions whenever they come out and so this is the next one and I have it. And then the other book that I bought when I went to Barnes & Noble is Heavenbreaker by Sarah Wolf. Stars burn and so do I. I think the cover is stunning and the edges are beautiful. On the back it says I cannot stop death but I can make it think twice. This book just seems really really interesting to be honest and this book is just absolutely stunning and I, it just like drew me in. It says, bravery isn't what you do, it's what you endure. Duke of the powerful house, Hot Claire, is the first to die with my dagger in his back. He didn't see it coming, didn't anticipate the daughter who was supposed to die with her mother on his order. He should have left us with the rest of the station starving commoner rubbish. Now there's nothing left, just icy white rage and a need to make house Hot Claire pay. Even if it means writing Heavenbreaker, one of the few enormous machines left from left over from the war and jousting against the fiercest nobles in the system. This is a female jouster. This is wonderful. Each win means another one of my enemies die and here in the cold terror of space, the machine and I move as one, intent on destroying each ad adversary, even if it's somebody I care about, even if it's somebody I'm falling for. Only I'm not alone, not anymore, because there's something in the machine with me, something horrifying, something more, and it won't be stopped. Doesn't that sound intriguing? It sure does. And then on the High Republic train, we also got this. It is an illustrated guide to the world. It's an illustrated guide to the galaxy's golden age. Got a ton of stuff in here and little things you can flip up and all kinds of stuff. So this is very helpful as well. Okay, getting to the end. I also got the Butcher Base edition of Once Upon a Broken Heart because look, isn't that not stunning? This is the German edition, but it's also the, I can't say it right ever, but the Butcher Base, which is a, like, I think it's a subscription, but you also can get special editions from them. And this is one of the special editions. It's absolutely stunning. I can't believe how beautiful the pages are. And that's why I got another edition of this because it's fantastic. And then we have Darker by Four by June CL Tan. This is another unboxing from Fairy Loot, so we don't have to go over that. And then last but not least is another Broken Binding book, which I did an unboxing for, even if it's not up yet. It is The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. This is the first book in the um, Gentleman Bastard series, and it's a very hyped up fantasy series. The edges are beautiful. I've already done an unboxing on this, but it's just a really cool edition. And I can't decide if I was ever going to read this or not, but I think because I have it now, I definitely will. And I want to give it a shot because so many people do love it. So hopefully I do as well. Okay, those are all of the books that I had to haul, which is nice because now I can go through and start reorganizing my shelves, which is a whole process and takes forever, but thankful to be able to do that and also to start whittling down books that I'm coming across that maybe I just haven't been reading. So please comment down below and let me know your thoughts if any of these books that I haven't read, if I should get to them immediately or if something just caught your eye. But for now, that is it for today's video. Please like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you next time. Stay safe and caffeinated. Bye.